Hello, I'm Dr. John Daly, Chief Medical Officer of COLA. ProBNP is a member of a family of four naturetic peptides. It is stored as a polypeptide precursor, ProBNP, in secretory granules and cardiac ventricles. In response to fluid volume overload, increased ventricular filling pressure, or ventricular stretching, there is cleavage of the precursor ProBNP and release of the two hormones BNP and NT ProBNP. The biologically active BNP will cause excretion of sodium in the urine, diuresis, and a lowering of blood pressure due to vasodilatation. The NT ProBNP, on the other hand, has no activity. The evaluation of BNP and NT ProBNP by immunoassay has become widely used in clinical medicine in the evaluation of patients with dyspnea. The value of detecting these hormones lies in the fact that they can assist in the distinction of dyspnea caused by heart failure from that caused by respiratory issues. In patients with congestive heart failure, the level of these two hormones will be elevated and the hormone levels can be used to assess risk and prognosis of patients with congestive heart failure. In dyspnea caused by pulmonary dysfunction, the levels of BNP and NT pro-BNP normally will be low. Keep in mind that when the pro-BNP in ventricles is cleaved into BNP and NT pro-BNP, equal amounts of these two hormones are produced. However, the diagnostic cutoff values in the clinical assays of these two hormones differ. This is because BNP is rapidly cleared from the circulation and has a half-life of about 20 minutes, whereas the half-life of NT pro-BNP is generally 60 to 120 minutes and consequently it has a plasma level three to five times higher than BNP. Clearance of NT pro-BNP is primarily renal and the renal clearance of NT pro-BNP will lead to variability depending upon the presence of renal failure. In cases of renal failure, this can lead to levels of NT pro-BNP at the high end of the curve, whereas the simultaneously obtained BNP levels would not be as elevated. Interestingly, obesity has an inverse effect upon BNP levels and in one report, lean patients had mean BNP levels three times higher than obese patients. The reason I present this today is to remind you that there is controversy regarding serial measurements of BNP and NT pro-BNP. Guidelines have been published by the American Heart Association and the American Car College of Cardiology to assist in assessing the risks and prognosis in patients with known heart failure. The use of serial measurements in heart failure patients remains debatable due to a number of confounding factors, including wide biological variation, lack of generally agreed upon target values, and questionable impact on clinical management. When performed, some use serial measurements at two to four weeks, but in some clinical trials, measurements every three months have been reported. In addition, population studies have demonstrated that while an elevation in BNP or NT pro-BNP has predictive value for the development of heart failure in patients with stable angina and acute coronary syndrome, Again, there are no published guidelines to assist in assessment in the screening and or monitoring of these patients. The bottom line, it is very helpful in a hospitalized patient 
to have a level run at the, at the times of admission and discharge. However, be judicious in the performance of serial measurements. It is in this type of situation that a practice laboratory utilization committee can call upon the wisdom of those most experienced and knowledgeable in this arena to provide guidance for all members of the medical practice. Thank you for your attention.